morning. Hello, good morning. How are you? Uh, hope and pray everybody is doing well. Uh, beautiful weather today and we are sitting in front of our garden, <laughs> St. Paul's garden. Yeah, See what there. a beautiful flowers we have, rose flowers or different colors. So nice. It's that time of year. Yeah, this, uh, that's the time of the year, spring. That's good. So what's going on? What's going on yeah, in our parish this week? We don't week? have much of an uh, update about our church opening and we continue in the same phase. So when it is time, we will let you know about the program. No hemos recibido ningún eh, noticia hasta ahora eh, para empezar la segunda fase de abrir la iglesia. Todavía estamos en, en la primera fase. Yeah, right, that's right. What uh, is going on? And then, uh, I mean, you know what is the current situation here in, in the different parts of the country uh, about the George Floyd's death and everything. Could you please read the uh, cardinal statement in the Facebook uh, so we'll know more details about that. Yeah, the uh, cardinal came out with a statement. Um, when was it? Last week? Yeah, last week. Yeah. Uh, cardinal Tobin came out with a public statement as a response to the George Floyd situation. Um, and so everyone's encouraged to check. Uh, we have it on our Facebook yeah. page. I'll, I can repost it. Um, and it's also on the Archdiocesan website, rcan.org. Uh, um, si no lo han leído hasta ahora, el Cardinal Tobin eh, ha publicado una respuesta a la situación de todo lo que está pasando, la situación de George Floyd y las protestas. Y, y por favor, eh, que leen esa respuesta del Cardinal Tobin que está en nuestra página de Facebook y también lo pueden encontrar en la página del Arquidiócesis eh, rcan.org. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, we'll get them all the information there. Uh, the next one is about our uh, the readings and uh, songs and the ah, the hymnals. Yeah. Hymnals. Yeah. 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 So instead of using the, because nowadays everybody is using the phone when they come to the church, they have the phone with them. So all the smartphones are there, so they have all the readings, and we can put everything the readings and songs and the hymns so that instead of using the book this will be so every week we'll be updating mm -hmm. yeah what do we call that uh worship aid worship aid worship aid <laughs> so um yeah as part of phase two and phase three one thing we do know is that once we do reopen we're not going to have anything in the pews just to avoid uh touching anything and spreading anything through the hymn mills uh, so what Father Thomas's idea, uh, which I thought was brilliant, was uh, since no one listens to the announcement to turn off your phone before Mass. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, most people turn off their phone, but it's every once in a while we get a phone call during the Eucharistic prayer. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to publish a worship aid for every Sunday. Uh, and you can start downloading it now as we do the virtual Masses uh, and to follow. And it'll be a worship aid with all the hymns for that Sunday and the readings. Um, so if you don't have a smartphone, you can uh, download it and print it before coming to church so that you can sing along with the hymns and follow the readings. Uh, if you do have a smartphone, uh, you know, you can uh, download it right before Mass. And then we just ask that you put your phone on airplane mode or on silent uh, right before the Mass starts so that when you're following along on your phone, it doesn't ring or distract you uh, from the prayers. Entonces cada domingo vamos a publicar eh, un guía para la liturgia del domingo. Eh, esta semana lo hemos empezado con el inglés. Voy a tratar de publicar uno en español también para cada domingo para que podamos tener las canciones y las lecturas por el teléfono porque cuando, cuando abrimos la iglesia de nuevo eh, no podemos tener los libros en, en, en los asientos eh, para, no, eh, para e evitar tocar eh, cosas. Entonces vamos a publicar eso eh, por eh, nuestro sitio web. Yeah, uh, that'll be a nice thing that if we can do that one, it'll be nice. Uh, the next one is about our CCD programs. As according to our current situation, we are not sure of what is going to happen in the school, mm -hmm. the availability of the school and everything, everything is now online. So what we were suggesting and uh, we decided to have a, we had a meeting with the teachers and uh, the thing is that uh, change the location instead of having it in the school uh, we thought of having it in the church property 
uh, like in the back sacristy or a social center or there is a room there in the social center or in the youth room mm -hmm. so and also it is like a, instead of saturday we like to have it on sunday sunday as a two sessions um, so that uh, the children can come and attend the mass that's uh, the main thing is that so when it is on saturday people will be very busy with other things and uh, they cannot bring the children to the church and all that sort of thing so i thought we thought this is the best thing to attract more the children to the church so it will be done in two sessions and we will let you know all the details and father joseph will explain more about okay um entonces la para la educación religiosa el curso de catecismo para los niños hay uno, algunos cambios que vamos a tener que los cambios empezaron con esta situación del coronavirus porque obviamente con las escuelas cerradas y, y las diferentes fases de reabrir la iglesia vamos a tener que hacer cosas un poco diferente y algunos de los cambios que vamos a hacer es en, eh, o del cual estamos eh, mirando y, y todavía trabajando en los detalles de transferir la educación religiosa desde la escuela aquí a la parroquia en los cuartos que tenemos en la parroquia y también eh, lo más importante es el cambio que el año próximo cuando empezamos de nuevo cuando podemos empezar de nuevo eh, las clases eh, van a ser el domingo por la mañana en vez del sábado eh, más cortos no van a ser hora y media van a ser 45 minutos para que así los niños tendrán la oportunidad de ir a la misa y y es mucho más conveniente porque sabemos que hay muchas cosas que pasan los sábados por la mañana y entonces eh, creemos que el domingo sería un poco más libre, un poco más tranquilo para las familias y para los estu estudiante estudiantes eh, para que también pueden eh, participar a la misa el domingo después de la clase. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, uh, as you know, the church is, I mean, the rectory is open for business, so those who want any any mass cards or anything else, please call us and uh, come to the rectory. Help you. Right. Yeah, Very good. Else? So I that's, that's nice it. for that. That's a beautiful day. Enjoy the day. Nice. Okay? Have a beautiful day, everybody. Yeah. God bless you. God bless. Thank you.